all over Twitter, all over Reddit, all over Facebook, all over social media in general. People asking the questions of why are we paying for reskins again? How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you're new around to and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. So if you didn't know already, with Shadowkeep comes a new raid, the Garden of Salvation. But what if I told you the raid armor this Garden of Salvation offers is nothing but reskinned armor already available in game? Yes, this indeed is the case. The Omega Curse of Osiris armor available from way back when is being reskinned and given as rewards to this new raid. Yes, I kept saying that to myself because I am in kind of disbelief. And I've seen so much backlash over the past few days since we have found out it's unbelievable. Now the disbelief I am in is not because of the reskinned armor by the way and we'll get to that in a second. Today I'll bring you guys my opinion on this and what this actually signifies going forward. And are in fact people just jumping to conclusions and taking things out of hand. So out of packs we got this image, it shows the raid tab for the hunter. These at first people thought going by an unofficial source that they were going to be Vex offensive gear. But DMG of Bungie cleared that up and confirmed they were the new raid gear, that of the Garden of Salvation. Now here lies the issue people are having. Why on earth are Bungie bringing us a whole new DLC expansion, going off a fresh start away from Activision, when using what seems to be the same tactics and reskinning most of what's coming new it seems. From the destination to PvP mats, and even a brand new raid, bringing that old reskinned armour. I thought this was a fresh start for Bungie away from Activision, but it seems as though in reality not much has changed. Now what I have just said are more or less the words of what most people not liking the feel of what we know about the DLC so far are actually saying. And to be honest it's hard to argue when they go against these facts. Two new PvP maps, both of which D1 maps, no new vendor, the resets in terms of armor and weapons and crucible and vanguard. The moon, let's face it, is a destiny one destination, even if they add new areas to it. Raid armor is the Eververse set from Curse of Osiris. There will be the best of year two engrams. The nightmare hunt mods, basically us fighting off against old foes. The Mercury Prophecy weapons are being reskinned for the Vex offensive activity. And Shadowkeep it seems has way less content than Forsaken did, yet only being priced at 5 quid less. Now although you guys know I am the first to tear into Bungie for the bullshit they try and pull, but in all honesty I don't think it's necessary this time around. Look at what else they've incorporated to the franchise so far when going solo. Cross save, direct MTX purchasing, new like Google Stadia partnership, Armor 2.0, a battle pass, seasonal artifacts and much much more, they are incorporating all of this while also bringing us all new content, even if that content is that of mostly stuff we've already seen before. We still get a whole new armor system unlike anything we have seen before which is massive within itself. This includes building basically the ultimate monster killing guardian and also locking the way we want at the same time, something we've wanted since the beginning of Destiny. We have two new activities which are Nightmare Hunts and Effects Offensive which we know of so far. We have a new raid, a new destination, new vendors, a new strike, two fan favourite PvP maps returning, a battle pass which allows us to earn loot for levelling up, a whole new incorporation into our builds with the artifact, also an unlimited power level to chase because of said artifact. Because of all of that within and building up to a DLC, I actually to be honest don't care about the fact that the raid gear is actually reskinned Curse of Osiris armor. I love that gear and most people play now won't have ever seen it in game before or even remember it for that matter. And let's face it, it won't be an exact reskin, it will obviously offer a much better design. And as we can see from the Titan Red Helmet compared to the Curse of Osiris helmet on screen now, we can see that not only does the Red Helmet look way better in design, it also has like a hologram up on the back. We have all seen the new moon armor. This stuff looks super unique. I'm pretty certain Bungie wouldn't be making a mistake of allowing the best gear to be obtainable on the moon when there are new activities coming like the raid and the Vex offensive and so much more. We also know universal ornaments will be a new thing. I'm sure they are hiding something up their sleeves with this raid armor. So reskinned or not, it will still be amazing and the fact the raid won't ever be a reskin itself and the Garden of Salvation will be a whole new experience. I honestly don't understand why so many people are bitching. It's like one person bitches, someone picks up on a certain point and continues on that bitching train until it just gets completely blown out of proportion. And that's what we're seeing here. 
New skins is something we have seen literally since day one of D1. Developers will always utilize means of revamping all the content, especially when we have sucked up for such a long time. This ain't new, it never was, and I do not have an issue with that. And I'm also seeing people complain about the battle pass, I mean I just honestly do not get it. Free items via progression, people complain. Free items via RNG, people complain. Paid items for direct purchase, people complain. People want all the exotics to return, they return, people complain. People want to see old PvP maps return, they return, people complain. People want to see destinations from D1 added into D2, people complain. What happened to the I want to support an independent Bungie energy now? Yep, people are quick to forget. At the end of the day, I'm excited for Shadowkeep and the changes it brings to the game. A few damn reskins ain't going to ruin it for me. If you are one of those people that are out there now stating I ain't buying this DLC because Bungie are lazy, go play Warframe. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video and this is my opinion on this whole out of control reskin BS floating about the net. If you have a different opinion to me, let me know it down below in that comment section. At the end of the day people, 99% of us are still going to purchase Shadowkeep. To me, it seems as though people are just complaining just to be a part of that certain said group. Pointless, it really is. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.